Hi developers, so in last part we created the static UI for my orders and now we will make it uh, dynamic through API and with that we will also remove the cart count from cart section because uh, if user is already bought that product then there is a no sense to just keep that product in still in the cart, right? So let's have a look on the points of this video. So first of all we will make a static, uh, we will uh, make a service function so that we can just call our my order API and after that we will just uh, render this data over UI and at the last we will remove the cart data once user is uh, bought that product. Alright, so we can start with the first point and uh, let me open the product service there. Here I am just making a one more function so that we can call API inside it. So let's say my function name is order list and to just make it very quick I am just uh, copy copying the data from uh, current card right and just putting there and now I will uh, I just need this uh, um, user data also so that I can just uh, pass that uh, user ID inside the order list because we will get the order list based on the uh, user ID all right and there I will just put their orders and that's all and one more thing so we there we need to just put the uh, order type to uh, that uh, result of that uh, API response because uh, we are getting the list of orders the it should be the type of order after that we can call this function from our uh, my order uh, component or ts file so for that what we need to do there we need a uh, instance of uh, that service so I am just putting the private instance of product service and inside it I am just putting there this dot product dot uh, order list and we can subscribe it so let me subscribe there and as you know in, inside the subscribe function we will get a callback function and it will just get some data also as a result so there I will just do one more thing right guys I'm just uh, putting a property there which is order data and the type of this will be order or undefined and now what I can simply do there this dot order data is result but there is a one thing that we need to change in uh, order right here you can see that we have only five properties in our order interface that will be basically the type of uh, order cart uh, order a response right but here we have the six fields uh, the id field is extra there so there is a no uh, id because id is uh, uh, generating dynamically so what i'm going to do there i am putting a one more uh, field there with the name of id and the type of this will be number or undefined right because if we are just entering uh, the data from a checkout page that time we don't have any ID but once you uh, we are just getting the order data from DB that time we have order so if you just want to check in the checkout dot component dot ts we also just making that uh, order object but there we don't have any uh, ID there right so I am putting there uh, ID as undefined and now you can still see everything is working fine so okay there is still error let me just check it okay actually this is uh, not related to the uh, that order so let me just come there and uh, yeah the problem is that because we are getting the order as a array because that is the list of orders not a single order and now it should work all right so after that what we can do that we can just render this order data on our ui side so this is our header list and on that row i am just simply using their ng4 and their let order of order data and now you can choose this order there so i am making the dynamic id there order and uh, that will be order dot id not directly order let's make this uh, dynamic price also 
there will be total price after that uh, that's all right i am just removing all of these static data we don't need it and here let's check is it properly working on a ui currently we have only one data on our uh, my card so that will just display there right this is the priority uh, the price this is order id and we can cancel it also but uh, for that we need to make a cancel uh, order cancel api we will do that in next part so let's come back there and uh, the next thing that we need to do there is uh, if let's say user is just making any order that time we have to just remove this order from ui uh, card from ui right so let's say user just checking it out and once user will click on there the data should be removed but for that we have to just again make a cola api so let's say we are using a dynamic uh, any programming language that time we can remove all the cart at a single time but uh, json server don't provide to just uh, remove all the cart at a single time that's why we just need to uh, make a we need to just call api inside the loop right i will just let you know that how we can do that but first of all, let me just uh, create one more uh, API there, right? So let's say my API function name is order cart items. And uh, here we will get the cart ID. Not there. Cart ID and that will be the type of number. Okay. So after that, we need actually save that uh, API, but uh, we need to get this API data uh, and subscription only inside the service file. So I am that's why I'm just uh, uh, using the another function. Otherwise, I can I can call the same function, right? So after that, there we will get the data as result, right? And uh, even we can just make a proper callback function there and uh, after that once we will get the data we will just make this uh, cart data dot emit function is empty you know that we are using this cart data dot emit this pushing the cart data but once the old data will be deleted that will be just uh, empty that's why i'm just making it by default empty ones just uh, APIs are called all right but uh, okay so, so but as I told you like uh, we have to just call the delete API inside the loop so how we can do that for that let's again just get get come back to the checkout dot component dot ts file and let me just put their cart data cart data could be uh, type of cart or that will be could be type of undefined as a by default like this so let me just import this card data and now just push this card data pass this card that result to the card data here we go and once we will just uh, uh you can say that uh, place the order after that we can uh, just remove that cart data right we don't need it anymore right so that what i'm going to do there if we just got the result that time we will just uh, simply just make a loop on either we can just create a loop uh, before the uh, order now api also so just let me put there this dot cart data dot for each and uh, again it will return a callback function so i am putting their item right and uh, if item dot id is not undefined that time we can say that this dot product dot delete cart items and there we can pass item dot id right and uh, with that we can simply remove the uh, cart for item and uh, yeah, each on each cart item we are just uh, making a loop and that will uh, remove the 
cart data from one by one all right and uh, one more thing that we need to do actually we have to use their uh, set timeout because as i told you in the previous section inside the user auth and whenever we are just uh, putting our uh, local card to the dynamic that time right so because json server cannot handle many requests at the same time that's why we just need to just call the api just after some uh, particular time uh, at least uh, just uh, half of the second right or you can say that uh, 500 millisecond so we will just uh, give the time of that otherwise if we are using a, a proper language like server side scripting language that time we don't need to just give any any time so just put their set time out and uh, now inside it let's call this api and you can just provide the data uh, let's say just provide the time let's say 700 second uh, millisecond not second actually or 500 millisecond whatever is it suits to you all right and after that what we we need to do one more thing so we just sh need to show a message if user is just place the card we have to just show the message so that uh, a user can check that is the order is placed and after the three or four second uh, we can redirect user to the another page all right so here what i'm going to do, do i am taking uh, one more property with the name of order message and the type of this could be string and by default that will be undefined all right and now Um, they will again put the set time out if there is a prox four second uh, then we can just say that this dot uh, not actually we just need to just put there before set time out this dot order uh, message is order has been placed like this right and uh, after the four second we can just make it undefined as well as we can navigate it so that you user can check the message also there is a no per there is a no sense if you will just uh, redact immediately and we are just displaying the message because user cannot read that message and now we can format it okay so next thing is we have to show this message on a ui so let's come to the ui and just before the h3 tag i am taking again a p tag and we can simply just put our p tag there and there is a class there is a common class actually to just show that message and i am putting their text align center also text align center and the class name to just show a green message properly uh, is is basically message p that means message paragraph All right i hope now everything is working fine and uh, let me try to just place one more order so if i am just putting here anil at the rate user email address noida sector 101 as address double nine double seven double eight is just any random contact number and i am just clicking on the order then you can see that order has been placed this message is there cart is also empty and uh, our old, uh, second order is also displayed there right you can see that so if you have lots of product and it will just give you any error like api is not bro uh, properly working then you can increase this time right because there is a problem like uh, json server cannot handle the request quickly that time you can uh, simply uh, uh, increase the time of set timeout right okay so after that what we can do there we can just try to put one more order so let's say user just want to buy Nike shoes and with the two quantity. We just click on the add to cart. Then the one cart is added there. And now let me just click on the checkout. So if you just click on checkout, we just asked for address. Let me put there anil at the rate test. Uh, some address and some contact number. And if I just click on uh to uh, order now order has been placed and just after four or five seconds you can see that uh, order is properly placed cart is also empty so with that way we can increase and in next part we will just uh, just uh, make a functionality for cancel order as well as i will just make a page for my 
uh, orders also right so thank you so much for watching this video and if you have still any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box and i will request you to please support me by subscribe my channel like this video and share your feedback in the comment section thank you guys thank you so much